anybody here? I can't see if anyone is here or not. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, someone said hi. Hi. Makeup obsessed. Hi. Okay, that's great. Because I've never done this before, so I have no idea if I'm doing this correctly. Hi, Monique. How are you doing? Right. Forgive me whilst I'm messing around with this camera here, because I have no idea what I'm doing really. Hi, Joanne. Hi, everyone. Oh, guy, you guys are joining me on a live. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? I need to adjust the camera, don't I? Hi, Sarah. Oh, my word. People are joining me on my live. Oh, dear. I think I'm going to drop with a shock here. Right. Let me see if I can just adjust this a little bit, because this is looking all kind of weird. Okay. I don't know what time it is. Is it seven o'clock yet? My time. I'm using my mobile. Hi. Little Mimosa. Oh, I like that name. Little Mimosa. Oh, that's good. It's uh, roughly 10 to 7, isn't it? Is that right? So I am early. And who have I got? We've got eight people with us. Eight? Yeah, okay. It's more than I expected. <laughs> I was all hoping for two and I'd be really, really pleased. All right, shall we just wait and see if there's going to be any more people? along and uh, yeah let's see what's going on and um i'll try to adjust this camera a bit because i'm still not quite happy with how this is set how does it look to you guys does it look all right hey, 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 hey. oh you know what i've got um i'm in the face group face group i can't say that a facebook group for pokemon you know i play pokemon and the messages keep coming up, so I think I'm going to have to mute the message. Oh, you can't hear me. Oh, Sally says she can't hear me. Can you all hear me? Can you all hear me? Thumbs up if you can hear me. I can hear you. Sarah says she can. Looks fine. Looking nice. Okay. All right. Okay. Sally, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Yep, everyone can hear me. All right, okay. Sally, move this in your settings. Oh, gold has me kicking the tripod now. Oh. Right, yes, she can hear. Okay, Sally says she can hear, but it's crackling. I don't know what that is then, love. I really don't know. Um, it's not my end. Yeah, it could be your end. I don't know. Well, yeah, hi everyone, and hi Shopaholic, hi all of you, oh thank you, seriously, thank you all for joining me on this, um, it's the first time I've done one of this, so this is going to be a bit of a mess, just going to let you know from now, it's going to be a mess, I'm going to talk too much, I'm going to, oh, sound is fuzzy, so Folly's saying it's um, fuzzy as well, Right, okay, so a couple of people are saying that it sounds like there's a bit of static or something. Mm, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, shall I try coming out and coming back in again? But if I do that, are you all going to disappear or are you going to come back? I don't know. What do you think? I'm not sure what to do. Because some of you are saying there are some crackling sounds in the background. Maybe try moving your phone. Okay, all right. Let's try it. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, Stella says she can hear me fine now. So what I'm using, I'm using this tripod and a little, um, a little adapter thing to put my phone in. Listen, I'm going to have my hand and thumb all over this, so excuse me whilst I'm trying to adapt it and not press down on the sound. Too long. should have a battery power. Right, excuse me a sec, I'll fix it guys. Okay, how is that sound? Any better? Thumbs up for yes. I've got no other devices, nothing at all. Nothing at all. 
all I've got is my battery pack charger. That's it, great. Everyone is saying okay. Yay! All right, okay. Right. Well, look, should I start? I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Buzzing sound has gone. Right, that's all I wanted to hear. Okay, well, look, what are you all doing at the moment? Have you all sort of come back from work or come back from doing whatever you were doing today? Yeah, what have you all been doing? I finished work. Um, it was it was an interesting day today. Finished work, came back, quickly cooked a bit of a dinner, really crappy dinner. So I did some salmon, so salmon steaks, did those in the oven, steamed some broccoli, um, new potatoes. I sort of just dressed them in olive oil, rosemary, roasted them in the butter in in the butter in the oven, and that was it. It was a really boring, boring dinner, but everyone's eating so. Hey -ho. So Sally says it was a busy day for you. What were you doing? What were you up to? Can I be nosy? Yeah, working. Yeah, same here. Just got back from work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So have you have most of you been working today or sort of preparing for Christmas? <laughs> Monique says she's ordered pizza. Lazy. <laughs> Get out there. Get in the kitchen, woman. Cook. All right, busy shift as a nurse. Oh, oh. Okay, what kind of nurse are you, Amanda? Yeah, what kind of nurse are you? I work for home care. I supervise teams of carers. Oh, yeah, I can imagine, Sally. That must be crazy right now. I, I, oh, I sympathise anybody who works in that field. Oh, oh, Lord, that must be hard. Really hard. Yeah, especially now. Yeah, I mean, do we think Bojo is going to give us another lockdown in the UK? I don't think he wants a lockdown, so I think he's going to do everything he possibly can not to have a lockdown. But I think everybody's kind of self-locking themselves down already. Oh, God, I'm really sorry to hear that, Sally. And Amanda, you're a cardiac nurse. Wow, how exciting. Oh, that must be really exciting. But are they cancelling um, procedures for you now? Or are, are they sort of cancelling all any non-emergency procedures <laughs> you'd like you'd like a semi lockdown right just enough to put your feet up kind of lockdown that kind of lockdown oh and you administer so amanda administers covid jabs as well so you must be doing a lot of the boosters at the moment so in the uk we've got a lot of booster jabs going on now the government have um, sort of said, right, all adults, so everybody over 18 is eligible for booster jabs. So there's queues everywhere. Everyone's going in for walk-ins and doing them. Um, I've got mine booked next week, so I'm just going to leave it till my, my booking and just do it then and just keep away from as many people as possible. Hey, Katie, how are you doing? You know what? I'm seeing a lot of people here who've won some of my giveaways which is kind of cool. So that's nice of you that you've all stayed. It's good. I like to see that. Um, yep, yep. Amanda said, yeah, she's been doing COVID jabs. If you see me going like that, it's just me trying to read the live chat. Anyway, have any of you got a drink? I'm being experimental. I've got, um, right, what have I got? I've got a splash of Bombay Sapphire gin. Is that how you say it? Sapphire gin? You know the one in the blue bowl? And then I've got some of that stuff we got in a degustor box a month ago, two months ago. It was like a passion mango flavoured sort of liqueur -y thing. So I've put some of that in there. So this is already, I don't know, 30, 40 percent proof. And then I've put some, um, oh, what do you call it? Tonic in there, sort of streps tonic. So it smells all right. Let's see if I, I won't die. Oh, that's all right. Oh, that's all right. Hey, Dan might be a bit lucky tonight. Get a little bit frisky with that stuff. Mm, that's nice. Okay, cool. All right, okay. So we've got, oh, how we've got 18 people. Oh my gosh, I've got 18 people. Woohoo! All right. Okay. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that at some point. Use my bloody knees and knock the phone down. Right. My intention today was to do an um boxing of sorts a Christmassy one so like I don't know it's probably about a month ago to be honest I ordered from look fantastic fa look fantastic this beauty chest thing they had um was it about a month ago it was Black Friday I did it um 
the week before Black Friday because Look Fantastic started their sales before Black Friday. So I did it then. Um, so I ordered this beauty chest thing. It cost, I think it cost £100. But then Look Fantastic was given sort of their usual 20% off. So I used that 20% off. And then I realised I had a whole load of um, glossy box credits as well. Um, so from the days when people used to use my referrals, because I haven't actually sort of been pushing my referral on glossy box. <coughs> so, yeah, so I've had quite a few credits from that. So I, I think I got the box. It wasn't a lot. So I bought that and I bought a couple of other items as well from Look Fantastic. My total order was about £65 in the end. So I think the box cost, cost about £50 roughly. So I got a really good discount on this box, which was £100 originally. I think it is still on sale. So I ordered this box because I think there was two items in the box that I was interested in. I think one of them was a one on one skin product. I know, one one skin is bloody expensive, I know. Um, and is it worth it? I don't know. But all I know is that the products I've tried from them, I've really enjoyed. So there was that, and then there was a Murad sort of water gel moisturiser, which for me would work really well, because I, as you all know, if you watch me, I've got very oily skin. So I thought, right, well, those two products alone will cover the cost of the box, so I'll just get it. And I literally can't remember what else was in the box. So I'm going to open this up and then show you guys what's inside it and uh, give you my uh, my usual feedback <laughs> on these products. But what have you guys been thinking about some of these advent calendars that have been out there? Have, have you all seen that Chanel one? It's been all the hoo-ha about, about the Chanel one, which was, I don't know how much they're selling it in pounds, but in, I know in America... It was like $895 and the the advent calendar had 25 days but there were like five of the days had stickers I mean literally stickers a um, couple of days had like these little pieces of string you know like kids friendship bracelets with little one was like a plastic seal and what was the other one I can't remember so Sally says she refrained this year and had no calendars at all yeah good for you I wasn't going to buy one at all but I did buy one in the end. Um, yeah, Amanda's saying, yeah, it's a ridiculous price. Yeah, so the products inside that Chanel calendar, $895. And I think there was literally about four or five items that were, they weren't even full size. They were like deluxe size that were proper items. And the rest of it was just rubbish. There was even like a little picture book. You know, those books where if you flick through it really quickly, it gives you a moving image. There was even one of those. That's how bad the box was, $895. So a lot of people have been talking about it. But um, yeah, I haven't, I bought one advent calendar and the one I purchased was from Rituals. So Rituals had, oh, I think they had three or four different types of, yeah, Monique saying, yeah, a lot of money for freebies. Yeah, a lot of the products in advent calendars are literally samples which they give you free when you buy sort of X amount in stores anyway. Um, oh, Watcher says she bought the M&S one. How was that? Oh, so you said it was really good. Oh, your message has disappeared. Oh, yeah, Sally's saying the Rituals one was really nice. Yeah, hi, Denise. Um, yeah, so the one I bought was, there was one for £89 and they described it as a 3D one. So you had, you had to, it's a bit of like DIY. You have to like make the thing yourself. So it comes in this great big box. Each item is, is in like a, a little tree or a little house. And if you put it in these little sort of pre-made holes in the box, um, it looks like a little village. And then they give you these little Christmas lights, almost cheap fairy lights. But they give you these little fairy lights to put around it. Um, so it looks nice. So you've got this kind of background of pine trees. Um, and then you've got these little sort of gold and white little houses. And the products in there seem to be good. So I didn't buy it for myself. I bought it for my daughter because I just thought, yeah, give her some, give her, I said to her I wasn't going to buy her a Christmas gift. I said what I was going to do is just buy her lots of little things during December. Um, and to be honest, I should have just stuck to just buying her a gift for Christmas. I have spent so much money on her already. So much money. <laughs> just like, 
Damn. So yeah, the, the Rituals Advent Calendar, the 3D one, which is £89, that I would recommend. And I think that's the only one I've seen which I really liked. Every other Advent Calendar I've seen have just been total rubbish. Just stuff we've seen in our normal, regular beauty boxes. And if you're a beauty box subscriber, hiya, watcher. It was good, Sandra. Nice that you had a small perfume to Shea and Blue. Oh, right, Shea and Blue. That was in the M&S one, was it? I like Shea and Blue. It's nice, very nice. Um, yeah, the... I forgot what I was saying now. Yeah, this is what happens when you're middle age. You forget what you're saying. Yeah, all repeats. Yep, yep, yep. Love your yellow top, Mrs. Sandra. Looks great on you. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you. Um, yeah, me and clothes, right? I, I'm, well, you probably know, I'm not the most fashionable of people. When I buy clothes, I buy, I tend to buy from two places. Monsoon, um, if you're not in the UK, Monsoon is like, a, it's definitely not high end. It's like top of, it's a little bit higher than high street. So it's still on the high street, but it's a little bit on the higher end. And I tend to buy their clothing and their clothing just does me for work, casual and everything. Um, and they do my size, which is handy. And their clothes last forever. I wear the same clothes year in, year out. I mean, you've probably seen me, if you're watching my videos, you see me wear some clothes every year. Same thing over and over. So I buy things from one soon. And next, really boring. I know, that's it. I, I might occasionally buy the odd item from somewhere like, I don't know, ASOS, um, Boohoo. But when I have bought stuff from those places, they're rubbish. They fall apart really quickly. And I tend to end up using them as night shirts and stuff. Whereas the stuff I buy from Next and One Soon, year in, year out. That mustard colour is really in at the moment. Oh, is it? Oh, cool. That's me being fashionable then. Hey, yeah, see? Still got it. Still got it. Still got it. Anyway, let me open up this box. So I've been chatting for how long already? Nearly 20 minutes and I ain't opened the box yet. See, this is typical me. Talk, 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 talk. I was thinking this live would last, what, half an hour? Who am I kidding? I can't even do a simple unboxing in half an hour. I mean, my unbox everybody does an unboxing in 10 minutes. Me? No, no, no. Half an hour later, video's still going. And that's even after editing. Right, okay, this is what the box is looking like. Ooh, looks good. Looks nice. It's pretty. Should I turn it around the other way? That would help. Let's try and be professional about it. It's not too heavy, it's just awkward because I'm sitting in this weird position. Right, let's see if I can take this out without knocking over my drink, the tripod and everything else. Right, 26 people in guys, thank you. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed. I honestly thought if I got 10 people, I'd be really, really pleased. Because it's you no know, first live and all of that, I can't get it out. But 26 people, 27 now, woohoo! Right, let's see. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Right. Throw that over there. Right, turn it round. Okay. Right, so this is what the box is looking like. Right, so, as I said, for those of you who missed it, it's still on sale on the Look Fantastic site. It's £100, I believe, but Look Fantastic has always got some sort of discount code going, so don't ever spend it. <laughs> full price of anything they've always at least got a 15% discount going on so when I got this I had a 20% discount going so I bought it straight down to 80 pounds and plus I had loads of glossy box credits and stuff so I bought this and some hair products usual hair products for my daughter and stuff so my total order was about 55 60 65 pounds. I really can't remember I know it didn't hit 70 pounds, so I, I got a good deal on this. And the main reason why I bought it is because there's a couple of items in here that I like. So look, oh, so this is what the design is. You've got these kind of drawers. Ooh, ooh nice. Oh, 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 I say. Right, have a little. <laughs> yeah, I've already tossed the box around all over the place. So that's what it's looking like on the top. Let's see what we have here. Um, I haven't got any giveaways going at the moment, so um, if there's anything in here which I really can't use, I might just add it to any giveaways I might do in the new year. Shall we take out the first thing? What's that saying? Sally's saying the box design is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, God, my neck. <sighs> long story. Well, not really a long story. 
my heating went out of my house over the weekend. Don't ask me what happened. It's like we've got hot water, that's all right, but the heating suddenly has gone. So we've got no heating in the house at all. So we've got these mobile radiators <laughs> around the house all over the place. And when I'm cold, I start to suffer. Those of you who know, I've got rheumatoid arthritis and don't let me sit in the cold. Don't let me, yeah, because I suffer and I start to moan and I whinge. So I've suddenly got the stiffness in my neck now. So I'm moving around a bit like a robot. Like I could do the robot, yeah. But yeah, so that's why my, my neck's a little bit stiff. Anyway, let's uh, do this. The heating's getting fixed tomorrow, so don't worry. The it says here, the season to be, to, oh, the season to be, can you see that? Feel air, look fantastic. I'm here, you're looking at the beauty chest of dreams filled with 13 luxurious treats to make you feel your most beautiful this festive season. From skincare to hair care, cosmetics to homeware, this chest has it all. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas from Team, or oh, hashtag Team Look Fantastic or Team Fantastic. Let's see, shall we? Shall we count how many repeats I've received in this? To see how many products I've received in my subscription boxes. So the first item I know I've received before so this is from Eve Lom, and it's these little cleansing oil capsules. Do you remember these? So I got this earlier on this year in a toil box, Time for Life box, you know, the, the subscription box for people over 35. I'm assuming it's aimed at women. Yeah, so women aimed over 35, 40. So this came in that box, and I haven't used it yet because I've been keeping it for when I go on travel. Don't know when that's going to be, but that's what I've kept it for. So this is cool, and I can't remember how much it's worth, but it's worth about £20. See, normally I would look on my phone and sort of tell you how much it's worth, but I'm using my mobile to do this live. So that's all right as a first item. This is cool because it's a useful item. And again, I prefer to use cleansing oils to cleanse my face. I do that whole two-stage, two-step cleaning where I use a cleansing oil, cleansing balm or something, lift all my makeup off. And then I'll go in with a face wash, something like that. Do most of you guys do that now? Are you all into sort of two-step cleaning now? Or are we all still soap, bar of soap or just one cleanser? What are we all doing now when it comes to cleansing? Because we are supposed to be doing our two-step cleaning now when, when we're removing makeup. But I don't know how many people actually do that. So that's my first item. So that's all right. That's cool. I might give that to my sister. No, well, I'll keep it. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I kid? I'm keeping that. Right. Next item we got here is from. Oh, oh, it's a bit flash. It's from Hourglass. Oh, I got this beauty chest last year and loved it. Still have the box. Oh, I didn't see who that was from. It faded really quickly. Um, and I double cleanse. Yes, Cheryl. Yes, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Cheryl, are you in the UK or are you in the States? I can't remember. But yeah, hi. Thanks for joining us. Cool. So yeah, Hourglass. Got a little bit of an Hourglass product here. Um, this is a translucent setting powder. Cool in veil. Very nice. Good. And at least it's translucent, which is good. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Well, that's something I'll, I'll definitely be using. It's not like I'm lacking in face powder. Look how much face powder I've got just on my desk here. <laughs> so I'm almost embarrassed to show you now. Minute, what's this? This is a mascara. This is just my little tin of powders I've got just on my desk here. That's not showing the powders I've got in my drawer down here and the two powders I've got upstairs. So here I've got two paste. Um, oh, this is a highlighter, so that doesn't count. That's a ABH highlighter. I've got some banana powder, which I use for setting under my eyes when I'm bothered to put concealer and stuff under my eye. Um, I've got an ABH, another one. This is a brown setting powder. I've got a Tarte setting powder. This one's really good, actually. Don't knock Tarte. Tarte's products, even though they're a bit of a funky company, their products are decent quality. This is a nice setting powder. And this is a little sample of a Laura Mercier powder. So that's just what I've got here. So, but yeah, I'm not going to be turning my nose up at an Hourglass powder. Cool. Cool. Very pleased with that. Oh, what did you say there? I don't know how to um, keep the messages up because it fades from my screen. So if I don't see it straight away and read it, it disappears. 
So I'm um, here's those comments. Oh, the packaging's really nice. Typical hourglass packaging. Cool. Oh, these are that. So two item. Good. Hi everyone. How are you doing? Is that? Oh, I can't read it. Does that say J J Jayla? J Jayla? Was that Jayla? Hi Jayla. I think I got that right. Was it Jayla? Hi. <laughs> right. So that was item two. Next we have from oh Christoph Robin. Um, they're the ones who do that paste thing for hair, which everyone likes. Tie is unfortunately not available in the Netherlands. Looks like a nice brand. It is. You can't get it because um you can't get it because tie it's just it's just like a universal site, and then you can ship. Oh, maybe they're not. I'm just trying to think about the flags that they have up when they do it. I think I see UK, the states. I don't think you're right. I don't think they are available in mainland Europe. Oh, I've got my neck again. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? I've got to remember my neck. Anyway, so we've got a product here from Christoph Robin. They're the ones that do that sort of paste thing for their hair, which I've never been able to use. And this is a regenerating serum. Okay. Um, regenerating serum with prickly pear oil. Lustrous hair, smoothed and deeply nourished. 50 mils. That looks like it's probably going to be a decent product. I'm going to give it a go because me and my hair, look at this. Yes, yeah. Love that powder. Second to Laura Mercier. Oh, is, is it? Yeah? Or is it good? I, I imagine that it would be decent from Hourglass. Um, they do tend to do decent quality products. They've just got some shady practices, haven't they? Hi, everyone. Hi, Georgie. How you doing? You are right? Thanks for joining us. Um, you want to try their blush? What? Um... Tart, you want to try their blush? Well, look, send me a message. Tell me what colour you want, if you can look on their site, and I'll, I'll send you one. You might not get it until the new year, but tell me which one you want, and I'll send you one. Um, hi, everyone. Te Ooh, late to the party. You're not that late. I've just been chatting crap for the last half hour. You know what I'm like. I just, shit, here we go again. I just chat, chat a load of rubbish. I use the scalp scrub by Olaplex, I think he said. Right, okay. Oh. Right. oh look at this product okay okay this top tier is kind of proving its value already i think we've almost covered our cost here already haven't we so we've got this from elemis um what is it it's a pro collagen oh it's an eye revive mask well elemis is a bougie brand in itself isn't it um what's that saying suggested retail oh what been killing time see you got you <laughs> all right <laughs> okay fair enough um, yeah, an eye mask, because I really need another eye product. Is it just me, but has everyone who subscribes to Beauty Boxes, um, definitely if you subscribe to more than one, do you feel that 2021 has been the year of lip and cheek tints and eye masks? I don't know how many eye masks and lip balms. I don't know how many eye masks I have received. I have literally got a box, and I mean a box load of decent quality eye balms and serums and masks and all sorts of things upstairs loads of lip and cheek tints i've tried a few but most of them i've ended up just giving away putting them in my giveaway boxes lip balms i don't mind lip oils i love i do love lip oils and i kind of keep those behind there but yeah i've got an elemis here loads of eye products and hand yeah hand gels but then i don't mind the hand gels especially with the sanitizing because i yeah, every time I go out, I'm like, non-stop. I'm just like, stay away from me, stay away from me. Don't just breathe on me. I'm, I'm, that, I'm that person. Yes, ashy cheek. <laughs> yeah, ashy cheek tints. I received every month an eye mask in one of my boxes. Yeah, which box was that? Is it one of the, um, the Dutch boxes? Not Goodyear box, no? Sick of eye products, yes. I have tons of eye masks for subscription boxes. My favourite one is by... Oh, QMS! Okay, because QMS is um, it's a, it's another bougie UK brand. But is it really good, that QMS one? Have I received that? You know what? I probably have received it. I've just given it away. <laughs> I feel all the skincare I've received. Oh, I missed what you said at the end. I don't know how to keep the messages up because it does. It fades away. And me and my dodgy eyes, I don't read everything. So, you know, I've got this eyelash kind of dropping off my eye. Can you see? It's kind of ready to drop off. Me and eyelashes. Yes, even the Dutch ones. Okay. Mm. Anyway, so third product. Really cool. Eye mask from Elemis. Don't know if I'm going to keep it because, as I said, I've got a hell of a lot of eye products. 
but it's a nice one so I could actually give this to somebody we'll see we'll see where it ends up I mentioned on Marcia's page the other day that I need an eye cream every 15 minutes oh really every 15 minutes why what's wrong with your eyes girl what's happening what's going on why do you need an eye mask every 15 minutes just dab a whole load on at night time do a good dose in them in the morning should be all right or have you got really dry skin is that is that what it is okay let's see what else is in here the same brands time and time again same products i still love sun boxes though sun boxes what's a sun box i don't know what a sun box is enlighten me what's a sun box so this is from oh is this um that brand by terry yeah this is another bougie brand oh sub <laughs> all right sub box gotcha sorry i should have figured that out listen girl i'm tired I, I my brain's working slowly so i don't know i'm using the eye cream also for my neck oh good idea because they're very rich um sub box yeah that's what she meant sub box yeah it was me being thick i didn't click that she meant sub box so i'm just you know what it's like when you're typing really fast and then you get your autocorrect on your phone and it makes you write all kinds of nonsense i do that all the time so here we go we've got this product here from by terry i'm not quite sure what it is exactly it is a a who and a what i don't know what that says can you, can you read what it is let's put this over the camera what does that say you you guys can probably read it better than me i can't read that at all so i usually use my phone as a microphone and a microphone what do you call it <sighs> microscope to zoom in you know what i mean and but I'm using my phone to um to do this live. What does that say? I can't see what it says. What is it? What do you think it is? Oh, it's a lip balm. Oh, is it? Balm. De Rose lip bulk. Okay. Oh, it's a lip balm. Thank you. <laughs> see, <laughs> you guys. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Um, what do I think about this? I don't know. I literally don't know what I think about that. But it's a weird colour. Oh, do you like it? Have you tried this before? Okay. All right. This might be something else coming in your direction. <laughs> Listen, people, you need to all get on my friends list because I'm always dishing stuff out. <laughs> um, so many. Oh, I missed that. Missed that. Um, it's lovely. Use as a top. Oh, use as a topper. Okay. All right. Does it not, because that colour, does it not, um, I've lost it. Does it not sort of colour your lipstick? It's an amazing lip balm, says Mel. Right, okay. Should I keep it then and try it? I love By Terry products. Not tried the lip balm yet though. Okay. You guys are tempting me to keep this now. Ooh no should be fine so it won't, it won't color my make my lipstick and stuff because you know these are the kind of lipstick colors i wear all right okay shall i keep it right glad to be on your list yes malik here you are right i'm gonna try it i've opened it okay right let's try it keep and clear oh it's clear it's got oh it's, it's, oh rose did you say rose done to the thing but it's nice it feels good okay well i've used it now so sorry no one's getting it sorry malik <laughs> i'm so wicked right next what we got here this is uh from aurella cell revitalized night moisturizer my favorite lip balm it doesn't color anything you've got to try it it's ace right i've just tried it and it feels really nice it's giving me a glossy look on my lips and it does feel nice and it's not sticky yep that's all good so here we go this is the last product in this oh no there's a couple more products in this layer Aurella, Aurella cell revitalize night moisturize anyone know this brand ever heard of it is it another bougie brand okay Ooh. well it's in a black jar that means it's posh doesn't it <laughs> Is it got vitamin C or something? When something's in a dark jar, it's usually because it's got some sort of active ingredient in there or something, doesn't it? Can you see that? Can you see that? Right. What do we know about this, guys? 
Yes, that's a great night cream. Okay, so Sue knows the deal. Okay, Sue, Sue knows her business. So it's a good moisturizer one, really, is it? Okay. I have never heard of it. No, another lovely brand. This box is doing all right, isn't it? God, I've done it again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, I have a serum of that brand and it was really good. Okay, right. I'm doing well. I'm doing well with this. What else is in here? Oh, got one more product here. I have tried a face oil from this brand. Okay, beautiful brand. Okay, so this is from Maoli and it's a grow strong brow oil. So it's a big old bottle, isn't it? Well, I've, I have no brows at all. I literally just, <laughs> I paint my brows on. So my brows are a different shape every day because it depends on how, <laughs> how well I draw my brows on. I have no brows. Do any of these things actually work? Because I've purchased in the past, when I was naive, I bought products from Revitalash. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, Revitalash, wasn't it, I think. So they had eyelash oils and brow oils um, from the days when I used to always be buying from QVC UK. Um, and that stuff was expensive, but I never saw major differences. With my eyelashes, I did see a bit of a difference after about three months, but I never continued more than three months. I got fed up. But I never saw any differences in my brows. So, I don't know. So what do you guys know about this brand? Ever heard of it? I'll give it a go, because I've got nothing to lose, because I have no brows whatsoever. But then again, I take a hell of a lot of medication, and the medication I take, two of them, um, one of the side effects is thin hair, loss of hair, hence all this crap I've got going on here. Middle-aged hair. There you go. Right. I think that was the first layer. So my first layer was pretty good, actually. So the first layer was Orella, or whatever it is. We've got the, um, the Eve Lom Cleansing Oil. We have the Christoph Hair Regeneration Serum, which I'm going to give it a go. We have the Elemis Eye Mask. Um, this Maoli Brow Oil. You have to keep using them or lose your brows. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but yeah, I lose my brows. <laughs> and we got the Hourglass Translucent Face Powder. I think it was it, wasn't it? Oh, and the Lip Balm. So as a top layer, that was not bad. Are we agreeing? Are we thinking that top layer was pretty good? All right, let's go into the second layer now. Oops, right, here we go. Let's try not to lock the tripod again. Right, how's that looking? Okay, I can see the products that I was interested in there. Okay, you got a hint? Okay, you got some lovely products in that first layer. Wonder what's next. Ooh, excited! <laughs> right, let's, let's take a sip. I need to take a sip. This drink is nice. Mm. Okay, that's going to become a Christmas drink for me. Cool. Love that LMS. Yep. Yeah. Um, and there's and there's more. Right. Good first layer indeed. All right. So I take the products that I was interested in, um, which kind of attracted me to the box. Wait a minute, let's try not to drop everything on the floor. So this is from One One Skin. So One One Skin antioxidant antioxidant energizing essence. 100 mils um i actually yeah I, I mentioned that at the beginning i do like one one skin products i find them effective i tend to find that i do use up all of the products you know sometimes you get products from beauty boxes and you never finish them but my one one skin products there's always just enough and i do tend to use them and i see the benefit of them i really like their products I would never, ever, ever go out and buy these products from a shop. Never. <laughs> I'm not mad. But you see if I get in a beauty box, I'm all good. I know there's always this query about are these products genuine or not because the products are made for one one skin in the Republic of China. So the question has been, are these products still genuine? And I went into... Um, there's a shop called Space NK, which is like a, a very boutique kind of shop. We've got one in Brighton. So I did go in there and um, 
I was a bit naughty. I had one of my rose gold essence, a little bottle like that. I had it in my handbag. So I went in to the store, went to the back where they had the one one skin. And I just kind of looked at the ingredients. I compared the boxes and the ingredients and how they were laid out. And it was exactly the same. And the one in the store was also made in China. So, so even though it's supposed to be a Harley Street brand, it seems like they make everything in China. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, it does seem a bit weird that they're making all the products in China because as soon as you hear China, you just think it's going to be cheap ingredients, it's not going to be genuine, they're putting, I don't know, cheap ingredients or something's not right or they're not putting the same proportion, same quality or something. But it seems like the genuine stuff is being made in the same place in China. So, you know, I mean, these products are like 80, 100 pounds. I find them effective. I like them. All good. Um, it is made in China. Does that mean it's better? It's been tested on animals. No, I don't know. Prob probably. There's nothing on it that says. Um... Oh, wait a minute. What's that? Right. This is me and my dodgy eyes again. Right. Here we go. What's that symbol there? What's that symbol? Is that a sort of cruelty free testing? I don't know. What is that? Because I know there is a thing in China. Um, in there are some places in China if they're going to be selling the products in stores in China then it must be tested on animals but if the products are going to be made in China but not sold there they don't have to be tested so I don't know if that's the case with one one skin right, so I'll show it again because I don't know if you can all see that what is that symbol because I literally can't make it out me and my dodgy eyes does that because that's the recycling one that's the god knows what it is um, and that's how long it lasts for. I think they just manufacture in China. They have to abide by cruelty-free laws. Okay, all right. So, yeah. Right, yeah, so I don't know. I need to look it up, but I really don't know if it's cruelty-free. But I, I just know that when I receive a 1-1 one -one skin product in my beauty box, I'm usually quite happy because, one, it's bougie. It looks good on the dressing table, and it works. Right, the other product which I was interested in, and oh, you can't see it. No, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, the other product which kind of tempted me for this box was this from Murad, and it's a clarifying oil free water gel. Again, oily skin girl, I like light moisturizers, so this is one I can use in, in the daytime because finding a decent moisturizer which is not going to be too heavy on my skin in the daytime is difficult. So, I really wanted this one, so yeah, please, I got that. Um, and that these two products were literally the value of the box as far as I was concerned. So everything else is just a bonus. So I'll show you what it looks like. Bit of a fancy little pop thing going on there. So yeah. So these so those are the two products that tempted me to, to get the box. Right, let's show you the other stuff. I'm doing. I'm good, thank you. It says on their website they are cruel. Oh right, they are cruelty free. Okay, good to know. Oh, this is Pry. Pry. Um, wrinkle Repair Cream. So Pry, I, so this brand always makes me laugh because, again, this, the first time I came across this brand was QVC. Back in the days when I used to sit up until midnight watching the TSV on QVC. Um, and the woman who advertises this or promotes this product, she's, it's all about sort of um, neck products to prevent wrinkling around your neck and stuff. Um, yeah. So she swears by the product, but I've watched her and she has got the most wrinkly skin. <laughs> so the products obviously aren't working very well for her. So she needs to use somebody else to promote the products. Because you know most brands, they get these young people who haven't got a wrinkle in sight yet to promote their aging products, their anti-aging products. You'd think she'd do that, wouldn't you? Because <laughs> I look at her, every time I look at her, it's like, yes, your skin is glowing, it's moisturised, but damn, it's wrinkly. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm just being cruel. I'm sorry. I have got a wicked streak in me. So there you go. So this is um, a 24 karat gold wrinkle repair cream. 24 karat. 24 karat. Bruno Mars. Okay. That's what it looks like on the inside. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that, to be honest, because um, it's probably going to be too heavy for me, um, unless I use it on my neck. But again, I've got lots of products already. So I may not use this, so I'll put this one aside. It may end up in a future giveaway or a gift for Christmas. 
Maybe her neck would be more wrinkly without the cream. <laughs> yeah, then she'd probably look like a turtle then. Okay, I'm being a bitch. Shut up, Sandra. Behave yourself. <laughs> no. <laughs> what we got here? So we've got a uh, glove satin sleeping mask. I hate these things. I hate these things. When I put these things on, I feel like I'm drowning. Someone's trying to kill me. I don't, I know. <laughs> I don't like wearing these things at all. So this is a no-go for me. No-go. All right. Oh, this lay is not so good because there's already two products I'm not that keen on. But hey-ho. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean, turtles? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I've got to stop being so cruel. Right, this is from Ico. Eyeliner. Really? Oh, we got that. Oh, we, did we? We got this in glossy. Yeah? Did that come in glossy? Yeah, did you see my glossy box? So I did a glossy box video. Um, it uploaded this morning. So I thought it was my, my December box. And I was like, damn, this box is really, really good. But it seems like, because Marcia, Lady Marwa, she told me, no, this this is the um, Generation, not Generation X, Generation G box. They cut this box that comes out every couple of months. Normally costs £20. It's £15 for subscribers. And it's aimed at teenagers and young adults. So for some reason, Glossy Box have either sent me that box because they've run out of the De December box, or it's PR. But I can't imagine Glossy Box sending me PR. So come on, this, this is me, Glossy Box. So I'm waiting to see if I do get a glossy box or not. Because um, everyone's received their glossy boxes now. So I, I think that it was just a replacement. But as a replacement, yeah, I prefer that to whatever I would have got in the normal box. I thought it was a great box and I'm gifting it to my daughter for Christmas. So I'm going to rewrap it up. <laughs> get some sellotape, stick it back down again. Put a bow in it or something. And um, yeah, here you go, Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was really good. Well, that was weird. I've gone off on a tangent again. You deserve PR. I deserve the world, but I'm never going to get it. I'm not going to get PR. I mean, you've heard me talk about this before. The YouTube algorithms and things. God, I, I really didn't want to bring this up in this live, but YouTube algorithms doesn't really favour um, melanin-infused people. It, it really doesn't. It, it, it sucks. So I've kind of accepted that now. So um, you, all you have to do, if you don't believe me, if, if you want to test it out for yourself... Typing, I don't know, a glossy box for a month that I've done. So, yeah, do a glossy box November. Do a, do a Google and then see where I come and you scroll down. How many pages you've got to scroll down before you see my, mine. And you'll see that I, I may have had much more viewers. I've got a bigger subscribers than some of the people who are promoted much higher than me. But, it's again, it's just how YouTube does things. They just don't, for some reason, they suppress particularly black women um, in the beauty realm they suppress us quite a lot but again if you were to put um, if I was a black woman doing um, music for example or doing black hair products then I would be elevated so it's very weird how they sort of boost up certain things in certain people but when it comes to beauty products black women do get suppressed quite a bit so black women get suppressed um, um, Asian women get suppressed as well, so it's not just black women, so they get suppressed as well. Um, obviously, white women, white males get suppressed as well, and obviously, white gay men get um, in, in, in improved a lot as well because obviously, we've got some of the big YouTubers, you know, the James Charles, the Jeffrey, the Jeffrey Star. A lot of them are big YouTubers, you know. So it's just, it's just how it is. So I've kind of accepted it. So I know I'm never going to become a big YouTuber. But I never wanted to become a big YouTuber. I did YouTube because it was fun. And I like beauty. And I like chatting crap about it all. So hey ho. <laughs> there you go. What we're saying there. Well, I missed that. Was that you, Pink Poodle? I think I might have saw a bit of pink hair. I think that might have been you. Do you find it's just in the UK or worldwide? What, the suppression? <sighs> I don't know. I, I I think very. I think it might be worldwide, you know, because I, when I do my YouTube and I, I choose the channels. Yeah, Jeffrey Star. Yeah, exactly. Um, when I choose my my channels to watch, um, I am very careful on who I pick. So I pick people who I really really like and I like the quality and they're unproblematic. 
So I've got a mixture. So I have got quite a few black women who are YouTubers who have got tiny channels and they just haven't grown at all. And a lot of them just give up. They, they literally give up because they did YouTube because they wanted to earn a second income. Um, which I think if you do YouTube to earn an income, then you're a fool because it's, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Not quickly anyway. Um, so, yeah, I, I, just, I find that most of the, the black beauty YouTubers that I follow they've got very small channels apart from um andre renee jackie Ina, um uh, what's the name ashley I can't remember, what can i remember her name all of a sudden ashley there's twins there's two of them but i can't remember her name suddenly so block but yeah they, they're they're massive but they've been doing it a long time and they've kind of boosted each other up and they kind of support it. that's the one thank you um yeah, I still can't say any. Isla Ashley, yeah, and she's got a twin sister. So they've got big channels. But even she, her channel's not as big as Jackie's. But Jackie Ina, she's got, what, a couple of million people? Um, subscribers? And that is successful. That is successful. But if you consider what she's done and how long she's been on the platform for, and she's been on the platform, what, 12, 13 years, to have a couple of million people is nothing. When you think about people like... James Charles, Jeffrey Star, who have been on the platform for a few years, and they've got like 20, 30 million people. So again, it just shows again um, how they're suppressed. But yeah, Jackie Anna, she's doing her thing, man. She's doing all right. She's got her candles and everything, man. She's living the best life. And that's the way to be. It's just accept it for what it is and do what you can with it. And she's done. She used she's used YouTube as a platform to launch other things now. So she's doing great. They're all doing great. Anyway, moving on with this box <laughs> before I start going off on a more serious note. I've been following you since the start, Sandra. Oh, you have. You have indeed. Um, your message has faded again. I hate it when it does that. I don't know how to control that. I don't know how to bring it back up. I'll have to figure this out. If I ever do a live again, I will try and find out what it is. Hi, Rebecca. Oh, Vinegas Divas. Oh, that's a great name. I've never seen you before. Hi, and welcome. How are you finding this so far? Uh, Tanya, yes. Thank you. Thank you for watching and enjoying. Right, so this is a, a, a Nyko eyeliner. Yeah, we've seen this a million times before. I don't think I've ever seen a full size of this before, though, because usually they're about half the size when we get them. But I don't mind Nyko for eyeliners. Their eyeliners are good. So, you know what? And to be honest, I think I'm actually starting to run out of eyeliners now. Can you name and link some of the smaller black YouTubers in the description box so that we can support them? Yeah. Yeah, I will. Um, can't you... Can't you, sc you know what? I don't know. Can I scroll? I ain't got a clue. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. This is the first time I'm doing it, guys. I know if I do something, I'm probably going to match the whole thing up. Right. Can I scroll? Wait a minute. I'll do it. Oh, oh, oh. You're right. I can. But you're just going to get my big hand on the screen when I do <laughs> Oh, shucks. Right, so, yeah, there we go. Um, I've been following you since the start, Sandra. My name is... Oh, God, I can't read that. But so, yeah, I know, I know, I mean, I know you, you've been around forever. There is also um, a Sudanese woman who has loads of subs, but I can't remember her name. Are you talking about um, Thinking Bob Tang? Ima Tang. But she's not Sudanese, is she? Is she Sudanese? I mean, she's born in America. I think she might have Sudanese background, heritage. But yeah, she's got millions. Yeah, she's done really well as well. But again, um, not as much as Jackie Ina. And again, they... Again, considering what she's done and how long she's been on the platform for, and if you compare her to other people, much smaller platform. So again, all of these women, they've got under 5 million. When you think about comparisons to other people who have been on the platform for a lot shorter amount of time... Um, and the quality of their videos are nowhere near as good. You know, they'll have like tens, 20, 30, 40 million people. But anyway, let, let's move off that subject because that, cause that kind of subject always pisses people off. I notice when I, when I start talking about things like that, it does polarise people and people drift off and like, oh, she's off again. And off they go. So I, I try not to go on too much about it. But I will speak up. I'm not going to avoid it. I just don't want to go on too long about it. You get me? You understand? All right. I know, I've got 34 watching. Damn. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm shot. <laughs> I'm totally shot. Anyway, Ica, skinny eyeliner. It's all good. I mean, we see eyeliners all the time in beauty boxes. 
nothing wrong in getting a, a nice eyeliner. All right, what else is in this layer? Oh, there isn't much more. I think that's it. You know what? This bottom layer was kind of dry. That was it. So in this bottom layer, we just had the one one skin. Um, you can add the channel links in at the end. Yeah, I will try and do that because I'll see what happens with this. I'm assuming this video will stay um, on YouTube and I, I, mean, I can edit and stuff later on for what um, Emily D. Baker calls the re replay crew. So yeah, I've got a one one skim. I got a, a pry, a pry anti turtleneck cream. I've got a sleep mask, which I won't be using because I think someone's trying to murder me. Um, yeah, don't ask. Murad, um, clarifying oil free gel, and your eyeliner. Is that it? That's it, that's my bottom layer. Okay, the bottom layer was kind of rubbish, apart from my two main products. The top layer was really good. But what did you think? What did you think about this box? It costs £100. Buy it if you're going to get it, then you've got the 20% discount. Um, but yeah, what do you think of Vox? Do you think it was alright? It was alright, it's okay. Um, to be honest, it's the only, this and the Rituals 3D um, advent calendar, the only two advent calendars or Christmassy things I've seen which I've been interested in. Oh, what's this? Hi, I've arrived late to the party, been watching you from the beginning. Yes, yes, yes. is it Shantae? Yes, yeah, Shantae Ranger um, from the beginning, lol, and I'm one of the private subscribers stop being private you can't enter my giveaways if you're private <laughs> how about your private get up public come on i like to give my stuff away and i like to know who you guys are but yeah no thank you for following <laughs> be genuine no thank you yeah seriously thank you god i was such a cow this evening right oh i've got this oh i've got this to come to oh, why didn't you tell me oh good lord I thought there was a Kevin Aquan mascara. Is that? Kevin Aquan mascara. Well done. <laughs> yeah, you could tell I'm rubbish at this kind of stuff. Right, so by the way, the last product in my beauty chest from Look Fantastic is a Kevin Aquan mascara. Thank you for letting me know. Right, let's open it up. Um, how am I doing on mascaras at the moment? I'm, I've got about four or five different mascaras going at the moment. Um, but they're all drying up and finishing, so I can start using Oh, this is very pretty. Look at that. The colours are gorgeous. Look pretty, is it? Yeah, I don't mean to be funny. I, I'm just, I'm just a, a mess. <laughs> I'm just a genuine mess. I'm 52 years old and I'm still a mess, but... You know what I mean? Would it say leopard can't change its spots or stripes or whatever it is? This looks nice. It looks good. I love the colours, the whole ombre thing. It's very pretty. Okay. I think this box is alright, you know. I actually think this is alright. I'm glad I purchased it, especially at the price I got it at. I, I like it. What do you guys think? Do you think it was a good one? I do. I do. Right, how are we doing on time? So it's, gosh, I've nearly done an hour, 58 minutes, and it's 37 of you. 18 of you have given me a thumbs up, so come on the other 20. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up time. Um, I love that dark nail varnish you're wearing. This is nail zinc, it's nail zinc stuff. I shouldn't be wearing nail varnish at all, I really shouldn't. I, I go out and do food hygiene inspections. So when we go out and do food hygiene inspections, we're telling people about making sure you don't contaminate the food. So wearing things like strong perfumes that can add odour to the food, nail varnish that can chip into the food, shouldn't be doing. So in walks me, nail varnish and full makeup. But my excuse is, <laughs> I know. So my excuse when I walk in is that I'm not doing the inspection because these days what I've been doing, I've been bringing in trainees and sort of, Letting them lead on the inspections and I just stand back, chill out and watch them and correct them when they get it wrong. It's, it's so nice being a low-level manager now. I don't have to do so much work. Well, I say I don't have to do so much work. I feel like I'm working harder now than I ever did before. But that's because we've lost so much stuff. Well, that's another story. Right, anyway, Nails Inc, of course. I thought it might be. Yes, yeah, yeah. Nails Inc um, and OPI tend to be my nail varnishes. I've got a few nail varnishes from a brand called Manicure U, 
which is a black owned um, nail varnish brand um, based in London. Um, their nail varnish is actually quite cheap, they're about sort of seven, eight pounds. Nice range of colours. Their Christmas colours, I didn't think much of their Christmas colours to be honest. I thought they didn't quite hit that. But their spring summer colours they had earlier on this year were really, really good. But yeah, I, I wasn't that impressed with their Christmas colours, but don't tell them that. I'm not allowed to polish up work either. Yeah, I know. Do more knives, Friday night, wine. <laughs> you think? You think I'll be allowed back on YouTube again to do another live after this mess? I don't know about that. Right, um, I think that's it, guys. I think I'm going to wrap it up. That's my first live. We've done it an hour. I can't believe we've done an hour, but as I said, I can talk for England, no problems. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all, seriously, for joining me on my first live. I really enjoyed it. I Yeah, because I was really crapping myself thinking I was going to mess this up completely. And I did in a way, but at the same time, I fumbled through it. Um, yeah, cool. I, I enjoyed it. So thank you all so much for joining. Um, should I try and do another live again? Should I try another one? Maybe next week? Um, my birthday is on Christmas Day. But if I try and do a live on Christmas Day... Number one, I'll probably be drunk. And two, you'll all be falling asleep because your bellies are full. So I won't do one on Christmas Day. Maybe Christmas Eve. Should I do a live on Christmas Eve, maybe? Yeah? Should we go for that? Should we try and do a live on Christmas Eve? Don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll think about it. Oh, 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 what's a good idea with my American boxes? That's it, girl. That's it. That's what I'll do. I'm expecting my November boxes sometime this week. Um, shall I do it then? Shall, shall, shall I do um, a live with my American Beauty boxes next week? Shall we go for Christmas Eve or shall we do it earlier? Because Christmas Eve, we're all going to be busy, so I won't do it Christmas Eve. Um, everyone, yes with the US boxes. Sorry I missed it and I agree with Amanda. <laughs> okay. Working on Christmas, yeah. I think Christmas is not... Oh, you think Christmas Eve is a good idea? Mm. All right. I might do a poll. Can I still do polls on YouTube? I don't know if I can or not. I might do a poll. Um, definitely do American Beauty Boxes as a live because I think that's a great idea. But I've got to decide on the day. I just got a feeling that Christmas Eve I'm going to be knackered because I've got to get up early on. I've got to get up early on Christmas Eve because I'm doing oh, another long thing. I do fish export, so we have fish that goes out to France. So obviously I need to check to make sure everything's fresh. So I've got to go down to the port first thing in the flipping morning. Bloody cold. So I'll be doing that on Christmas Eve. So you know I won't be happy doing that. Um, that's like a five o'clock start. Um, so Christmas Eve, probably not a good idea. And then I'll be preparing all the food. And then I'll be drinking all day. Christmas Day I'll be cooking and then drinking all day. So I'm thinking maybe 22nd, 23rd maybe. I'll, I'll post it. I'll get myself organised and I'll post and I'll do a live of my American Beauty Boxes. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So whoever said that, I think it was Amanda. Good on you, girl. Well done. Right, on that note, guys, thank you very much for joining me. I enjoyed this. Thanks for being nice to me and not being horrible. Yeah, Christmas Eve will be too busy. Yeah, I know. Thanks for joining me and being nice and being <laughs> really nice because you could have been all right cows and giving me a whole, whole load of grief tonight but you didn't you were patient and you were very sweet and yeah you joined me so thank you so much take care look after yourselves guys wear your mask be safe out there all right cheers now how do i end this <laughs> how do i end it is there a button to press i don't know <laughs> i haven't got a clue uh, there's the end button oh is that it is that it no 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 no. <laughs> I'll just keep pressing until I find the end button. What's this? End button. Uh, save. Mute microphone. No, it's not that. Is it that? Oh, it might be this. I'm going to say bye now. I think this is it. Laters. Bye.